Uh, I have a, a question that I think our YouTube friends will be interested in knowing. We are here in Silicon Valley working for the next few weeks. Uh -huh. So I'm wondering if you were to talk to any kind of designers and if they were wondering, let's say, what do you think is like a skill that is just really great for a product designer to have in Silicon Valley specifically? I'm a product manager at WD. I am mainly responsible for mobile apps, web apps, and anything related to software. I think the number one thing that's important here in Silicon Valley is it's a very fast-paced environment. So if you can take your ideas and concepts and actually learn to prototype and be a really good prototyper, that gives you a big leg up as a product designer. I think the actual field itself is changing quite a lot before you had separations of interaction designers and visual designers. Yeah. But now it's almost like you're one and the same, you're kind of hybrid. Now they're slowly adding in the prototyping skills as well. So if you can take it from just a idea from a concept all the way to an interactable, clickable or even a coded prototype, that really sets you apart as a product designer. Interesting, that's really cool. Yeah. Thank you so much. Of course. It's been just an absolute delight. This feels awkward and weird, doesn't uh, it? I, I, more, more of a high five kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Thanks, Praveen. No worries, thank you. product designer at Western Digital and I've been with the company for about three and a half years and before that I was at a video game industry for a very long time and after that I was like what is the opposite of video games? I'm wondering <laughs> what do you think um, in Silicon Valley mm -hmm. as a product designer are the best skills to have? That, that's that's a tough one because I, I feel Silicon Valley is um, not necessary. I don't know. Maybe it's gonna make. Maybe people are not gonna agree with me. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they discover designers from all over the world who are like, "Wow, you guys are kicking ass!" Like mm -hmm. this is this is really great. But in general, I think for a designer as as a whole, not ju just necessarily a Silicon Valley designer, mm -hmm. um, knowing knowing the users and being able to kind of break through out of break through your comfort zone and really. Create, generate more ideas, G really know the users, know the problem, ask the correct questions, and only then focus on like what tools you use. You have to get your brain in the right order, and you're, at the end of the day, you're working for the user. You're solving a problem that users need, sol uh, need help solving, so yeah. you're... That's your job. Cool. That's some really cool I, insight. I hope that was like, okay. That's great. That's great. Yeah. Thank you very much, yeah. Irina. Let's thank high you. five. Hi, Laura. Hi. <laughs> I have Laura with me here. Maybe you can tell everybody. This is on. This is going to YouTube. Just so you know. Okay. Um, you can tell everybody what you do. What is your role? So now, technically, my role is director of product design. Very cool, very cool. So my question for you, Laurent, is um, what do you think, you're here in Silicon Valley working with uh, the creme de la creme, what do you think is like a skill or, or some skills that is just really great for a product designer to have in Silicon Valley specifically? Yeah, I think one of the, one of the, the pitfalls that many designers have is um, wanting to be right all the time and, and wanting to wanting so hard to change the world that they forget to fail along the way. And I think um, a good skill that a product designer should have is to fail fast and really like iterate quickly, um, quickly detect failure and reach success faster. Um, and I think that requires a little bit of humility, um, but, but I think this is a good skill to have. I think that's so um, such a good point because here in Silicon Valley, it's so fast-paced and it's so competitive. It's so competitive here that I think people get really serious very fast. Yeah. You know. Yeah. If my dream would be to create a portfolio yeah. where all I show to uh, a, a, a potential employer is everywhere that I failed I and not show a single. Love that so that much. That would be amazing. Such I tried cool that. Idea. It sucked. And I tried that. It was terrible. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I learned so much. But guess what? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Oh, that's great. I really like that answer. Thank you so much, Love. You're welcome. Who are you? 
So uh, I work as a product manager. Mm -hmm. I do uh, platform technology at Western Digital. Cool. So that means we work on the uh, software and connected web services that will power the next generation of connecting all of our devices and your storage experiences together. So I'm wondering if you were to talk to any kind of designers and if they were wondering, let's say, mm -hmm. what kind of skills um, are most useful as a designer in Silicon Valley, what would you say? One that I would say is empathy. So yeah. um, having a good uh, ability with empathy allows you to get outside of your own head yeah. and think about problems from the perspective of the person that it matters to and yeah. what matters to that person yeah. and help to really understand um, their point of view, perspective, pain points, motivators, and like thinking, feeling, and doing situations. Yep, yep. Um, and without a strong sense of empathy, it, teams don't really connect with the customer or the person that they're trying to serve. Absolutely, yeah. And I think that it's also something that people, um, it's quite rare, actually, yeah. that you're really able to look at yeah. how someone else might be approaching a situation. There's a difference between sympathizing and empathizing. Yeah. And there's a difference between like making up a story and really understanding like what it's like to be in someone else's situation. Right? Yeah. That's the difference between yeah. designing a product and doing surveys and starting your product by doing, you know, weeks of in-home research and going and visiting people in their houses. Yeah. And, like talking to them and spending time with them and yeah. like listening and understanding instead of like focusing so much on what you want to create and instead falling in love with first the the humans and then really falling in love with the problem which is really where the product standpoint comes from yeah, like yeah. designers and engineers solve problems and like product managers and product leaders tend to really do best when they fall in love with the human and and the problem on the other side and don't really dictate the solution and let the solution fall out of yeah. trying to aim for that human and, and those problems. We got quite we got quite deep. We went we went deep into the I gave the you the bonus. Design. Yeah, I, lo I really appreciate that. I really do. Thank you very much, Colin. Cool. High five high it five. out. <laughs> As always. Thanks. How many high fives have you done over the past two days? I don't know. I mean, my hands are like... Yeah, sore. just numb. <laughs> or I'm missing them because it's just... Yeah, you're not I don't want to phone them in. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Awesome. Thank yeah. you.